yoga fever in the bar room. So I will have my bar handy. Do it. If you're doing this at home, feel free to just use the back of a chair, the wall, whatever you need. And I'll be using some props too, but you definitely don't have to have them. I have a bender ball or a Pilates ball, three pound weight, water of course, and I have a resistance band. Super handy, but again, totally not needed. As long as we get our bodies moving, that's all that matters. So what I like to do in bar is just start off warming up the body right away. So if you need stretching beforehand, please free feel, feel free to take that. Otherwise, I do um, warm up the body right away, and then we'll move to the bar. Come off the bar, do our arms, and then do our abs. Alrighty, so let's just get started. Right here, just a nice tall spine. Try to pull that belly in. The feet are hip-width distance apart. All we do right here is a big breath in. Arms sweep up to the sky. As you exhale, just squat it down. Bring the arms with you so we can have that full range of motion. So keep that going right here. Pulling those knees in. Now letting them float out to the side. Sinking the seat as low as it feels good for you. Remember to exhale every squat down. Even if it's super audible, just pushing out that air. Warming up the body a little bit more when you do so, engaging the abs. Keeping it going just like this. Squeezing those glutes as you come up. Woo! Warming up the body. Right here, we'll just pick up the pace a little bit. Awesome. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down, just tiny lifts up. So when I say lifts up, I want you to think like you're pulling a string at the top of your head. Oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, inhale the arms out. Step up the leg, side body stretch. Dip that right arm down the leg, rainbow the left. Inhale through center. Exhale the other side. right to the mat then to continue our warm-up. Feel free to take water breaks whenever you need it. I like to just take a little swing. Okay, so right here we just got our mat. Using the mat, whatever you have at home, maybe I'll turn a little bit towards you. No big deal. All right, we'll find the hands and knees position. Shoulders stacked over the wrists, hips are over the knees. It doesn't really matter right now if your toes are flipped or flat. Just find some movement in the body. Take a big inhale, drop the belly, pull the heart through, lift the tailbone and the gaze. Cow. Exhale, round that spine, pull the belly in. Two more times. Awesome, right here, find that neutral spine. All we're going to do is flip those toes. The fingers are spread nice and wide, right? So we can press into the index finger and the thumb, as well as the palms. Keep our balance. All you'll do is start to hover the knees. Oh yeah, so we're engaging that core, engaging the legs. Right here, start to lift that left, or I'm sorry, that right leg up a little bit. Bring that knee to the chest. 
back to center, out to the elbow. Chest, center, elbow. Chest, center, elbow. Keep it going. Bring that gaze to the top of your mat. Four, three, two, one. Set it down. Just for a moment, maybe find another cat cow if you need a little break. And then we get right back at it and we hover those knees. Bring that left knee into the chest. Center, elbow. Chest, center, elbow. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, drop it down. Let the knees fall, big toes to touch, arms go long in front of your child's pose. Either drop onto the forehead or onto the chin, pressing the sit bones against the heels. All right, just taking those small moments of breath to reconnect. So from here, what I'm gonna do is grab my resistance band. If you are using yours, feel free to pull it up onto the legs, four to six inches above the knee and below the hip. Sometimes I can get a little twisty. It doesn't really matter. It's still gonna get the job done. All right. We'll make our way to our bar, chair, wall, whatever you have. Nice tall spine again. Hips and feet are hip width distance. Just starting right here, we sink that seat nice and low, hands on top of the bar. Bring it up. Keep it going. Squeezing those glutes when we come up. facing that mirror, or my mirror rather, but facing your bar, start to lift that right leg out, flexing the foot so the ten toes are all nice and straight, right forward. Have a micro bend in that standing leg. All we're doing is lifting out and in. Try not to dump your weight over to the left. You want to try that, that nice spine. Lifting out and in. Oh yeah. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that leg out, point the toe, point it to the back of the room. 
All they're doing is finding circles here. Any direction will get both sides. Four, three, two, one, other way. And you'll feel it in that standing leg too. Four, three, two, one. Tiny lifts up this time with that heel like you're pricking the ceiling. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that leg back down. I'm gonna adjust my band. Find that low squat. Oh yeah. Whoo, taking that break. Finding that squat again. Maybe this time we're just picking up the pace a little bit. Instead of pulsing the knees out, we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down, we'll go up. Maybe we'll, instead of going full range, we'll go half up, half down, open up, half up, down, open. Oh yeah, y'all feel it? It is great. We love it. Keep it going. We got it. Four, three, two, one. Hold it down. Shake out the hips from left and right. Awesome. Bring it up. Finding that same leg out. On the other side, I guess we'll call them leg lifts. So a nice micro bend in that standing leg, which will be the right leg. Remembering not to dump in there, all 10 toes forward, we flex those left toes and lift them out. And in. Oh yeah. We are nice and strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out, point the toe, bring it back. Find those circles. Four, three, two, one, other side. Four, three, two, one, leg lifts. Push up that heel. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down nice and low. Hold against that bar if you can. Nice. Bring it up to standing. Just step that right leg back. Straighten both legs, hinge the body forward, hanging on that bar. Just finding a nice stretch in the calves and the glutes. Roll it up, find the other side, stepping the left leg back. Awesome, rolling it up. We're not quite done with the bar, but we can remove that resistance band if you have it. Awesome. Take a swig of water. All right. So, staying at that bar, again, we'll find that nice spine. Nice and tall and strong. So 
So what we're calling this here is a curtsy squat. So all a curtsy squat is, is starting with the legs and feet hip width distance again. We'll start with the right toes lifting. And we'll bring it behind us so both knees are bent and open. And you can kind of think of it as the right toes are in line, or diagonal rather, to the left heel. So a nice curtsy. We'll bring it up, open that leg to the side. So curtsy open. The right arm will go with us. Curtsy, open. In your range of motion, sometimes it's here, sometimes it's just in line with the hip. Wherever feels comfortable for you. So let's keep that going. Curtsy, or open. Curtsy, open. Yeah. Just like that. Try to keep that heart open still. And maybe right here you find a full range of motion. Curtsy, open the left, find a twist, bring it back, open. Yeah. Three, two, one. We hold it out right here. Let's bring the hand overhead, rest the arm on the bar. Maybe a micro bend in that standing leg. This time, let's flex the toes for a minute. Bend that knee, press it out. Oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring that knee to the chest, arm follows. Oh yeah. Four, three, two, one. Press it out. Tiny lifts up. You can point the toe again. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah. Let's just step it out. Big inhale in. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale it down. Bringing the toes in, heels out. Just finding a nice fold. Spine and head get happy. <clears throat> All right, so good. We're almost done. We gotta get to the other side. Then work our way down. All right, finding that bar. Straighten my mat out a little bit. You don't have to do it on the mat either. Whatever is comfortable for you. All right. So this time we're bringing the left toes behind. Find that curtsy. Open up the knees. Out we go. I like to flex the toes nice and strong. And right here, I'm gonna find that full range of motion. We got four, three, two, one. Hold it out. My mat keeps getting a little crazy. Hold it out, flex the toes. I'm gonna bring that hand overhead, bend and press. Oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Knee into the chest. We got it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Press it out, point that toe, lift it up. Six, five, 
shake out the hips. Awesome. We did it. We made it through that bar portion. Let's grab for our weights. If you don't have the weights, totally okay. Just choose that resistance that you feel is beneficial, you know, to moving your arms, doing it with purpose and not momentum so much, if that feels comfortable. I'll stay in my mat. All we're going to do is find a wide second. So that means the heels are under the hips. We'll find a nice squat down. Doesn't have to be super deep, right? Just right here is fine. All we're doing right here, nice bend in the elbows. Weights are facing us. We're just dipping to the right and left. Always making sure we hit back to center. Yeah. So it's nice and controlled. Trying to work those obliques. Four more each side. Two. One. Extend those arms long. Weights are still facing us. We're just dipping right. Can bring that left hand to hip. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, other side. Make sure we get those audible exhales. It engages the core. And keeps us in the now. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go back to the right. This time try to dip down all the way to that ankle. Three, two, one, other side. Three, two, one, bring it up. Let's bring the arms right back up. We'll just close and open, but we're facing the weight still towards our face. So we're peeling the shoulders apart, pinching them together. Right here, we're gonna open up, bring the weight so the barbell end is facing us. Oh yeah. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, stand it up. Shake out that body. So good. All right, a little arm workout, but sometimes a little bit can go a long way. So let's make it down to our mats. I'm gonna be using my bender ball, but don't need it. You know what a, typically we know what a crunch is. It's gonna be similar to that. The bender ball or the Pilates ball, I think just helps with something to lean against and it kind of gives you that earthquake abs that we're looking for. So if you have the bender ball, I'm setting it in the low spine area, right? That sacrum space. Awesome. So you wanna feel what's best for you. Give it a test out. Okay, so good. Whew. So right here, for now, our feet are planted. We find that low spot. Yeah, we want those abs to shake. That's what we want, I promise. All right, bring those arms out long in front of us. Sink that spine back. Oh yeah, I'm shaking. <laughs> Ooh, and it's gonna enhance that shake even more. We start to lift those arms. Oh yeah. Right here, we lift up, right, left, down. Then left, right, down. 
right, left, down. Whoop. Left, right, down. Oh yeah. Two more. Whew. Bring it up. That's like a little bit, but you'll feel it. All right. We're not done with that. We're gonna be shaking, but all we gotta tell ourselves, put a smile on, it helps, and that we got it. So right here, just as we did before, but this time for now, we have the hands at heart center. That's what's helpful for me, but you can do fists, whatever helps. We'll nice and lean back, lift those legs up, just twisting right, center, left. Right, center, left. It's okay if those knees fall open. It's probably gonna help your balance. And if you don't have a ball, no worries. Engage that core. Right, center, left. Right, center, left. We got it. Four more. That's one. We got two left. One. Whoo! Awesome. Stretch out those legs for a moment. Bring it back down. Just as we were, we let those legs flow up. If you can get the shins in line with the knees, awesome. You can flex the toes back towards the face. Pull that heart through the shoulders. Just lift up. Bringing the knees in a little bit. We're just pulsing it in together. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, we're strong. Ooh, let's find a nice stretch. Crisscross position if that feels good. Maybe the feet are together like a butterfly. Big inhale up. Exhale, fold in between those legs. Walk yourself back up. Spread those legs out nice and wide. Take a second to point and flex the toes. Maybe dip the ankles side to side. Spread those toes out. Awesome. Let's flex those toes. Big inhale in. Exhale, rotate that navel over the, th the thigh. Fold over. Not staying for long. Coming back up through center and going over to the left. Back through center. Oh yeah, feels good on the hamstrings. Nice. All right, you guys, take what you need. Maybe you gotta stretch out those arms, wrap the arms in front of you, both sides, and the opposite hand will grab onto that shoulder. Open up, find the other side, crossing the right arm from knee, left hand on the shoulder. Maybe behind the head, you drop the right hand, left hand on that right elbow. Other side. All right, thanks for trying out this bar workout with me. Um, I hope it feels good. I hope you feel it tomorrow, and I hope to see you again.